Growing your own fruits and vegetables has become immensely popular thanks to rising public awareness about sustainable environmental choices and healthier diets. There's a growing trend among homeowners to cultivate their own food right in their backyard. This shift is beneficial not only for individual health, but also for food security and the broader environment. People do have varied motivations for this practice. While many are driven by environmental concerns, others find store-bought vegetables too pricey. Some find joy in gardening, while others believe that homegrown veggies are simply safer compared to those sold in grocery stores. The notion of safety can be subjective. If you wish to guarantee that the vegetables you consume are not in any way externally tampered with, having your own garden seems like a logical solution. However, understanding the nuances of starting a garden is crucial, as produce grown in urban gardens may not be as healthy as expected. In order to explore this further, we must identify the sources of air pollution that are relevant to this discussion. The most widespread air pollutant nearby busy roads is carbon dioxide, which is emitted by gas-powered vehicles. However, this doesn't pose a threat to plants as carbon dioxide actually acts as food for plants. It is essential for photosynthesis, the process through which plants prepare their own energy. Hence, garden plants aren't adversely affected by carbon dioxide. Vehicles also emit nitrous oxides, contributing to urban smog, and these are detrimental to human health in large quantities. Nonetheless, nitrous oxides have no harmful impact on plants. They actually bind with the soil and function as a fertilizer, a reason why nitrogen is so prevalent in industrial fertilizers. Contrarily, vehicles emit other forms of particulate matter that are harmful to plants, such as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or PAH, which are notorious for causing certain types of cancer. They don't directly harm plants, but result in less sunlight reaching them, which can stunt their growth. The gravest threat to plants growing near roads is lead. Absorbed by the soil, plants can't prevent their uptake of this contaminant. This could result in lead ending up in the vegetables grown in urban gardens. Lead toxicity can cause severe neurological issues and personality changes so consuming lead-contaminated food is obviously hazardous. Additionally, the dust accumulated along roads from car brakes and tires contains heavy metals like copper and zinc. The intake of large amounts of these heavy metals can harm both plants and humans. Vegetables have been found as a considerable source of human exposure to these heavy metals. Therefore, cultivating your own vegetables in contaminated soil, especially near busy roads, does have potential health risks. Hence, a thorough examination of the soil and surrounding area should be carried out before planting a backyard vegetable garden and consuming its bounty. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section. Your feedback not only supports us, but also helps our channel reach more viewers and continue to grow.